Hey there you go. So I wanted to kind of show you how to um, do, uh, well this is not really a show thing. This is what I kind of did for myself to make uh, Filter Optime 95 earmuffs, hair protector earmuffs to uh, not only hair protector earmuffs but also uh, warm and furry earmuffs as well. So this is what I did. So first thing you have to do is take these little ear cup pieces off here and that's how you do that. You take it and turn it in the opposite direction of these right here, these little, little um, clips and you pull away from it. They come right off. So what I've done, I also had some ear muffs from um, uh, Amazon. So what I've done, if you see any of my other videos, my previous video, you see which kind of earmuffs I've had. And what I did was I took these earmuffs here, took them off of the uh, headband part, the muff parts. And what I did was I pre-cut, I already pre-cut a hole into the material with some scissors. So what I did was I put them on here and I lined up the holes so you can see the hole goes there and the hole goes here so I already pre-cut the holes so what I'm going to do is um, they kind of stretch out pretty tight on this right here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a little bit of relief I'm going to make a slit in the middle the opposite direction between instead of going this way I'm going to go this way and make it like a slit or I might do a cross section and that way um, it relieves uh, the pushing pressure against my ear because they, they're pretty tight against the um, ear cup here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a little slit that way they kind of uh, recess a little bit more inside the ear cup there. And we'll show you in just a second. So what I did was I stretched them on there and put them on either side of the little stud there. They'll hold the clip. This is what goes on the clip here, just like this one does. So now I got like a little little material here I can kind of score against, whatever. That's what the word, right word for it is: score, cut, whatever. So I got a little box cutter. I'm trying to guess that the ear pad is right here, the thickness of the ear pad. So I'm kind of not going to go too far this way or this way and just going to go right kind of sort of in the middle mm. well this uh, box cutter is a bit dull no, that's, that's, uh, it's really dull <laughs> So I'm gonna see if I can swap it around and uh, see if it cut on the other side. Okay, so what I did was I took the scissors instead, of course, and I put them inside to where about I thought the uh, ear cup started, the pad rather, the ear pad started, and I pushed it through, and it came up a little bit before the other ear pad, and I just kind of cut a hole into it, a slit rather. And so when you do that, you got to watch out because it'll, it'll get really fuzzy. So when that fuzz will come off, so you'll it'll get it everywhere. Just trying to get it everywhere right now. So I'm going to go do the same thing to the other one. And then we'll go to uh, putting them on to the opposite direction and um, seeing how they work with the slit in there. I think it's going to work fine. They, it, but it gives a little bit less pressure on the ear and more ear room inside the pad. That's why I cut from one end to the other end. That way it'll open up whenever the ear goes inside there. So let's try the other way. And uh, let's try to rather let me do the other one. And we'll come back and we'll swap them around and see how they work. So see with this I'm trying to line it up on this thing, kind of get it a little bit even. But these, these come in like a little egg shape, half egg shape. They kind of wider at the bottom, more bulbous at the bottom and there at the top. 
so you can't get them on there perfect or whatever but anyway so with these I'm going to do the same thing I did earlier I'm just going to find about the edge of the uh, ear pad there of my thumb I'm going to push the scissors in I'm going to cut uh, kind of get that much in there I'm going to cut all the way to there back it off a little bit try to take it easy as I shoot past a little bit it's okay because I got I can pull it either way I believe I can at least and I'm going to make sure I got that one right Open it to that side. So that side's got a slip, and of course, you need to get all that extra fuzz out. See, it will fly everywhere. It's like cattails off of a um, little um, cattail thing. Uh, out of a swamp or a marsh. Once you start messing with it, it goes everywhere. Make sure you get all that out of there. Most of it at least. Just make sure I got some more out of here. Put it in a plastic bag. It will make a mess. But it's really soft. Alright, let's see here. Kind of clean it up a little bit. Now we're going to take them and we're going to do it the opposite way, flip them around by the way it's supposed to be. And put them on the um, put this the uh, clear side on the in the inside, and let the furry side be exposed. So that'll be fun. Be right back. No, so, let me just do one of them, and then I'll do the other one on camera. Just pull it off like that, and just flip it around like so. hole there and then find the little holes right here that I pre-cut kind of use one finger to kind of get an indication where the other one is and take it and stretch it like so Pull up the rest of the way. There we go. And then what I do, but anyway, I got like a hole here good enough for my ear to get into yeah pretty cool you know it's got foam padded so like I said these are hearing protectors and they're also going to be warm and furry earmuffs so odd time 95 I'm gonna cover that up with the scrap piece to make it a complete looking earmuff so anyway some more fuzz once it gets everywhere so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this right here and pop this back on the same way I put it, took it off. I'm going to find the stud, which is right there. I call it a stud, but it's just, you know, it could be called something else. And that one goes right there. I'm going to find the other one.
nice good slit in there when you put them on it helps that way you got enough room on either side Go let the cat in. Okay, so now I got them both back on, and so I might have cut a little too deep on this one right here, but I kind of evened it out, pulled it, you know, kind of evened it on the um, ear cup and everything. So I think it's going to be okay. I made a, as in other words, I made a slit too wide, just a tad too wide, but I think it's going to work out. So now what we have is Pelter Optime. What, you want to go out again? Now Pelter Optime can protect their earmuffs now, so that's pretty cool. So now... Okay, so let's just say you don't want to have the, uh, the thing showing, you know, in most cases it would be fine. Um, but uh, let's just say you don't. So what I did was I took some, um, another pair that I had extra of and I took out the little, um, the elastic thing. And I took the, uh, and I flattened it out, the, uh, the uh, furry muff part. And so what I have here is I cut the pieces, try to kind of get it around about the same size as a hole. Because if you get it too, if it gets too much bigger, you got a lot of extra material to kind of stuff in there. So it kind of gets annoying, of course. And I don't know if this is about the same. Yeah, it may be to work. But anyway, what you do is you take it, try to get this into like a, um, like a little bit of a slit, no, well, not a slit, but like a um, kind of like this, maybe a little bit wider, I don't know. And then you take it and you cover up this little hole here, and it'll blend in together, look like one little ear muff. Uh, we have a little, little but big muff. So you kind of find a little area to lift up there on that elastic, wherever you can. Find a little hole there. And push it in there. And just work it around. And kind of looks almost like one homogenous piece. Like I said, I should have probably got that one a little bit wider, but I think it'll work. Yeah. Or if you got something that's bigger, then you just use that one. And probably use that for the inside of the ear muff that one I just put on there but I, I think just for a show whatever that is going to work for right now so it looks like you got one homogenous piece of ear muff it looks like you just a totally covered ear muff uh, hearing protector and it looks like one big piece and you got room for your ears in here so and then do the same thing with this and right here it probably needed to be as big as this piece here. This is this piece is a little bit bigger, and so you cover it up, and you just use your fingers, to kind of work it in like that. It might be better to have an overlapping piece that way you can stuff it in there.
is this is kind of like a learning thing for me, so. I'm sure people will come up with their own ideas if they want to do that, if they want to do this, rather. Should have done this a week and a half ago before it got really cold. I noticed on the uh, Amazon that a lot of people are buying those earmuffs up, these big furry earmuffs. Uh, they were, I was going to get some, and some that I usually would get to hand out to people, but they, uh, they were all bought up. I'm like, golly. But anyway, now you see it's like almost one homogenous piece. It's like you don't know where it starts or where it begins. But, um,. Of course, you know, and then you also got some room for your ears. And if you want, you can take the other pieces and you can put them inside here. What I probably usually would do is take sheepskin and line it with sheepskin, but more of a thinner sheepskin, not too thick, because it'll start cramping my ears up. But anyway, you can take that and push it in here and line out the uh, inside of the ear cup like so kind of push it in there real good or you can take a different curl color uh, one and you just do the same thing but with a different color maybe like pink or something have your own little pattern or design or whatever all right, see, and it's so plush and soft, I can't even tell that I pushed it in there. So, and then do the same one, same thing with the other side. Just take it in there, and just take it, and put it on there, just like you did the front part, and just stuff it in there, and kind of get it around the edges too. That way, your ear can get in there real nice and snug. And they'll technically still be hearing protectors, but they'll be earmuffs too, just not headphone, uh, Bluetooth, the kind, you know, that, that sucks, but you know, it is what it is. Now, now now we got earmuff hearing protectors. Let me see if they work. Oh yeah, they, they do block out sound. Almost just as good. You got them all over right now. So there we go. You got MFP and protectors. You got fuzz flying everywhere. And they're very soft and comfortable. Oh my gosh, y'all. You just don't know, man. These are like so soft and so comfortable. Oh Lord, wow. This feels so good on the ears. Wow. What did I make? What did I create? I mean, I, I love them already, man. I, I mean, oh my gosh, they're so soft. Mm. I can sleep in these things. They're really good. A piece of fuzz. I mean, my ears just nestled into the uh, thing there. Like, very nice. Really nice. You have to try it. So I hope you enjoyed that and how to make you uh, hear and protect your earmuffs. So they guard against sound and they also keep your ears warm at the same time. Um, I don't know what the decibels are right now. I'm kind of curious as to, uh, I would have to hear the same amount of sounds I'm hearing now from that AC. With it, <clears throat> ones with and ones without the fur stuff on for earmuffs. But I know one thing, they feel great on the ears. My ear goes right into that little slit, 
goes uh, into the stuff I stuffed in there against the foam. It's kind of also at the same time kind of kind of um, going into my ear canal a little bit, so it's not too itchy or whatever. It's kind of or not too harsh where it's hurt my ear. Uh, my ear lobe seems to have some room. At least I think it does. And it's really nice. Very nice. Hope y'all enjoyed.